Meet the asteroid belt, a region of our solar system where tiny bodies orbit the sun, mostly rocky and some metallic. Another name for these small worlds is minor planets. They typically travel between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, the fourth and fifth planets respectively. Astronomers initially assumed they were the last remnants of a rocky planet that had been blasted apart by Jupiter's gravity a long time ago. Today, most scientists believe that the asteroid belt is just debris that Jupiter's gravity prevented from forming into a planet. As a result, the asteroids are most likely remnants of the ordinary processes that formed our solar system 4.6 billion years ago. With its many small, rocky bodies, the asteroid belt resembles the inner solar system in certain aspects at around 10 to 100 million years after the sun was born. Star Wars and other science fiction films have it completely wrong. The objects in the asteroid belt are hundreds of thousands of kilometers apart. Flying your spaceship across it would pose neither a threat nor a tactical gain. So, why doesn't the asteroid belt condense and form a planet? To begin with, there isn't much in the asteroid belt. If the entire asteroid belt were compressed into a single mass, it would only weigh around 4% of the mass of our moon. It would be smaller than Pluto's moon Charon, assuming a similar density, which is not enough to form a planet-sized body. There's a prevalent theory that somewhere between Mars and Jupiter, a planet exploded or collided with another planet. What if most of the debris was flung out of the solar system, leaving only the asteroid belt? For a variety of reasons, we know this isn't the case. To begin with, no explosion or collision would be powerful enough to propel material outside the solar system. As a result, if it were a previous planet, we'd see a lot more debris. Secondly, all of the asteroid belt fragments would be chemically identical if they all came from the same planetary body. Because they developed in different parts of the solar system, the chemical compositions of Earth, Mars, Venus, and other planets are all distinct. Similarly, various asteroids have different chemical compositions, implying that they formed in distinct asteroid belt locations. In fact, when we examine the chemical compositions of asteroids, we can find that they can be divided into distinct families, each with a common origin. This explains why a planet didn't form where the asteroid belt is located. When you organize all the asteroids by their average distance from the Sun, you'll notice that they're not evenly distributed. Instead, you find a cluster of them, then a gap, then a cluster more, then another gap, and so on. The asteroid belt gaps are called Kirkwood gaps that occur at distances where an asteroid's orbit would be in resonance with Jupiter's orbit. Because Jupiter's gravity is so powerful, asteroid orbits within the Kirkwood gaps become unstable. These gaps prevented the formation of a single planetary body in that region. As a result of Jupiter, Asteroids clump together into families of debris rather than forming a single planetary body. Why is the mass in the asteroid belt so little? And why didn't a planet form there at the same time as, say, Earth? The asteroid belt is agitated by Jupiter's dynamical effects known as mean motion resonances. A mean motion resonance occurs when an asteroid's orbit has the right period and the right asteroid repeatedly passes near to a planet at the same point in the solar system. When this happens between Jupiter and the asteroid, Jupiter's gravitational pull on the asteroid stacks up and reinforces each other, and the asteroid is easily thrown out of the solar system. The ancient asteroid belt was likely stripped of most of its mass due to these resonances and other types of disturbances connected with Jupiter and Saturn. As a result, the asteroids we see today are the few survivors who managed to escape Jupiter's clutches. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos.